Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to take a look at the true origins of Robert Sepper. As many of you may know, Robert Sepper claims to be of European descent, purely of European descent, but the reality is that he's half Iranian Jewish and this is not well reconciled with his promotion of Nordicism. In this expose, you will see that Robert Sepper's Jewish descent is not European in origin and rather is primarily indigenous to the Middle East. Thus, in this video, I'll shed light on Robert Sepper's Semitic origins. Now, without further ado, I'd like to begin. To begin, here is an image of Sepper from one of his recent videos. As you can see, Robert has a very Semitic phenotype. In fact, based on this image, you can see that if you were someone without any knowledge of Robert's background, you would probably think he's from the Middle East or he's from Southern Europe and not from Nordic European countries. And this is especially hypocritical considering that Robert has a tendency of associating himself with the Nazis as is evident from this tweet. In response to someone who messaged Robert about his balding head, Robert's reply was, Yes, Pajit, he would likely have cloned me and used his 6 4 inch blue eyed Aryan army to re establish Aryan rule in the subcontinent. That said, I just sent your girl a DM. Thank you, come again. This is a very recent tweet, mind you, and what this proves is that Robert feels that he conforms with the Nazis' Nordic ideal. Based on this image that I previously shared, I reckon that Robert would not even be allowed into the Third Reich. For all of these reasons, I believe that Robert Sepper is the world's worst anthropologist. In terms of genetic testing, Robert Sepper did indeed take a DNA test. Here are his DNA results and at first glance it seems that there is nothing out of the ordinary but what you will see next is that because of his father's Jewish descent he is actually manipulating and lying about these results by telling his followers that he is half Iranian Persian and he does not actually discuss his Iranian Jewish origins. What's more is that this is Robert Sepper's father Ben-Hur Sepper. For those of you who don't know, the late Ben-Hur Sepper was a very staunch Jew and actually produced a movie on the Holocaust. Thus, Robert Sepper's father was neither Aryan nor Iranian. And as evidence for this, I utilized the Global 25 calculator to show that the closest populations to the Iranian Jews are other Jewish populations from the Middle East and also some Semitic populations from the countries that neighbor Iran. What this means is that the Jews of Iran are actually closer to Middle Eastern Semitic populations in comparison to the modern day Iranians. Thus it seems to be the case that either Robert Sepper is a pathological liar or he's clueless about his true genetic heritage. As further evidence for the non-Iranian origin of Iran's Jews, I will be utilizing the source populations to assess their autosomal ancestry. As you can see, there is a Russia Andronova source, an Iran Chalcolithic source, a Bronze Age Mesopotamian source, a Bronze Age Caucasian source, a Classical Hellene source, a Bronze Age Canaanite source, an Israel Iron Age source, a Late Antique Arab source, an Indus Valley South Asian source, a Medieval Turkic source, a Medieval Mongol source, a Modern Caucasian source, and a Sub-Saharan African Bantu source. Here are the results for Robert Sepper's true paternal origins. As you can see, the Iranian Jews of today are on average 35.2% Iran Chalcolithic, 25.4% Iron Age Israel, 11.2% Bronze Age Canaanite, 11.2% Bronze Age Mesopotamian, 9.0% Androno Russia, 6.2% Classical Hellene, 1.0% Late Antique Arab, and 0.8% Indus Valley Bronze Age. Thus, what's evident from these results is that the Jews of Iran are not genetically Iranian and they're certainly not European. And this is why Robert Sepper is the world's worst anthropologist. It is also worth mentioning that the Jews of Iran do not have Aryan Y haplogroups as you can see with this chart. As you can see, this chart includes all of the Eastern Mizraham and these are the Jews of Iran, of Iraq, of the Caucasus as well as of Central Asia. The most prominent haplogroups amongst the Eastern Mizraham are haplogroup R2, haplogroup J2 as well as haplogroup E1B and haplogroup J1. 
What's more is that the Eastern Mizraham have minimal paternal contribution from the Aryans as you can see they're only 9% R1B and 5% R1A. Thus with these results consisting of 149 Eastern Mizraham men you can see that they have minimal ancestry from a European source and are largely an indigenous Semitic population. And these lineages prove how delusional Robert Sepper is about his paternal origins. To conclude, in this video I exposed Robert Sepper's Jewish origins which are his true origins. And I call on Robert Sepper to accept this reality. And it should not be hard for Sepper to accept this reality as the latest available genetic evidence corroborates my assertion that the Iranian Jews are neither Europeans nor Iranians. That is essentially it for this expose. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.